Alright guys, so just going to want to apologise for the kind of inconsistency of the channel, but with current things happening in the world, that's kind of going to be expected. But, if you are watching this on July 4th, then happy Independence Day for you, if, it, if that is what you celebrate. If not, then hopefully you are having a good day in whatever kind of occasions it is that you celebrate on this day in your country. Uh, so... Obviously, Rockstar being Rockstar, we've had it many times before. Celebrating Independence Day in GTA Online with a lot of stars and stripes. We are going to be going through everything so far that is going on this week with a little bit of details with the events that are occurring. Kind of into one video, kind of wrapping everything up. So if I sound a bit out of breath, that's a bit... It, whatever. Um, but... We are going to start off with the double rewards for the Missile Base series, which are adversary modes set in the bunker. Uh, I did one of these earlier, or the other day, or yesterday, and quite honestly, it's not very worth it. Like, if you're a money grinder, don't bother, because I tried, I did this. It was a full team, eight people, two, two, four teams of two, uh, and I think first place got about thirteen thousand, and that's double money. So, and I was getting quite stressed out because of it. But yeah, if you're a money grinder, eh, it's not really worth it. If you've got a group of eight friends, perfect for you. The Lucky Wheel Vehicle is the Western Sovereign, which was released in the old gen, or the old, old gen, uh, of GTA Online. It is, if you don't know, obviously we'll have a picture, but whatever, it is USA Motorcycle, which I wish you could take the livery off of this, because I think it'd be a pretty cool, like, livery-free vehicle, because it's kind of... It's very much based on the police bikes that you get on story mode for that one mission and one mission only. Uh, but I think this would be a pretty cool bike that you could like actually properly customise. But you can only do the wheels and the engine and all that kind of common stuff. Um, what else we got? We have got discounts. We have got quite a few. And when I say quite a few, that's... You know, a bit of an understatement, to be honest, because there is a lot. So, we have got 60% off the Avenger and all customizations with the Avenger. We've got 50% off all yachts, 50% uh, off the Devastate 8, and 50% off the Arcade Properties. Now, that's just a little, that's just a little taster of what we got. But, to go through what we have for this event week. These vehicles are all 50% discounted. So, we have got the Mammoth Thruster, uh, the APC, which is a land and water based vehicle that does require two, pass two um, players to operate one of the upgradable guns. The Oppressor Mark II, so if you've been waiting get one if you haven't got enough money to put missiles on it it's still a pretty good quick accessible and get around the map in a good pace of time vehicle the mammoth Tula, which is a pretty f it's pretty expensive non-discounted so if you want to get in now it's pretty fun it's pretty cool i like how it looks it's very old-fashioned the bambushka don't bother because it's terrible massive thing normally about like five million dollars normal price it blows up with one grenade has no kind of armor abilities whatsoever uh molotov which i believe is a very i don't think it's insanely fast but it is a very good when it comes to stability and handling it's a very good um easy flyer the emperor which is a car released with the cunning stunts dlc i did do a video on this vehicle in my normal life of a racer series which I have kind of stopped I will start it again at some point um, but that it's not fast but it's nice looking it's very unique if you want to be kind of you know unique at them car mates 
Um, <clears throat> the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire, which is a very good, it's a very good drifter, if you know how to do that. It's very good at a straight line, and it does keep up pace with some supercars. The Buckingham Luxor, Luxor, and Buckingham Luxor Deluxe. Neither of these are very useful. Um, they're just jets. The Deluxo, the Deluxe one is kind of just a gold version. It serves no other real purpose, really. And I'm pretty sure if you get, if you buy the normal Luxor, you can just store it in your garage and change the paint of it to gold without spending $10 million on it. Uh, because I'm pretty sure gold paint is about 25000 and same with the Buckingham Swift and Buckingham Swift Deluxe. I'm pretty sure you can just take it to your hanger and spray paint a different colour. There are, in fact, two liveries for the normal Buckingham Swift. Um, I can't remember off by heart, but I think the green one, the green livery, is more expensive. I think it's only like $100,000 more. But just to, just to bear that in mind. There is also... <coughs> 50% off all the Independence Day specials. So, the Monster Truck, the Sovereign Motorcycle, the Muskets, Firework Launcher, Firework Horns, Tire, Slash Tire, um, Parachute Smoke, Face Paints, Clothing, MOC Liveries, Mark II Weapon Liveries, Haircuts, Masks, Firework, Ammo, and USA Parachute Bag. That is a lot of stuff. I will put that all on the screen so you can get an actual shot of it. Just to get an idea on what it is that you can get. That is a lot of stuff, vehicles and Independence Day wise. And of course 70% off all bunkers, hangars and facilities. So we're kind of going down a sort of a bunker military kind of thing going on here. The premium race is Art to Art which is motorcycles which is the art museum in the mountains. Just on the outskirts of the city towards the I can't remember what it's called but it's kind of that square museum outdoorsy pit where they tend to put the Christmas tree at Christmas time the time trial is down Chiliad which going by the title I'm assuming is you start at the top and you get your way down uh, I believe the time is about 58 seconds so you're going to you're gonna want to not use a motorcycle in case you fall off or if you can do a glide with a motorcycle bang that glide perfectly and the RC time trial is Vespucci Beach. Now, that is pretty much it for this week's, um, like I said, the two times money events, not really worth it, considering first place on a two round map um, with a full lobby, got first place about $13,000. You can do one, like one, um, CEO or VIP work, like headhunter, boom, done, 20,000, no worry. So the, the the two times money isn't the greatest, in fact it's kind of shit, but anyway, if it's what you enjoyed then go ahead and do it, do it with your friends, it's probably great fun, I did try, I got quite stressful so I'm not going to be doing it, I've luckily got plans on things that I'm going to be doing. But if you did enjoy and you did find this information helpful in any kind of way, then please leave a like. Also, do not forget to leave a comment if there is anything that you are going to be doing money making wise or if you have any strategies on making money because Rockstar, as we all know, does not want us to make money in game anytime they get a whiff of people glitching to get free money. Boom, they are on that. God mode? Nah. Duplication glitch for a car? Nah. People getting free money? Let's get on it. No, that's what they're like. No, they don't want us to have money. So let's work together, get that money. Get that moolah. And obviously if you did go ahead and enjoy and enjoy any other content on the channel, then please leave a like. Uh, I've just said that. I've done this. has been a while since I've done this. I do apologize. If you do go on to enjoy any of the content that I unleash onto the channel then do not forget to subscribe and if you do continue to enjoy then do not forget to click the notification bell to be notified on any videos or updates I unleash onto the channel. I apologise it's been a while since I've done a commentary over one of these videos so I will see you next time whenever that may be so see you next time.